Hello everyone, Pellets of here. Welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. We're back in Ward 13 after our last little adventure. And what I'm going to focus on, at least at the start of this video, is catching up on things that I've kind of pushed to the side for a little while. And getting some secret, I say with air quotations, items that I have missed out on so far. So I think it was in the last episode we picked up the Drifter set. I said it gives you more items, uh, more scrap off the ground. Uh, th that's not what it does. I confused it with something else, I guess. It reduces stamina usage. So if you want to run around more, you can put on the Drifter set. I think we have the full set now. The Adventurer Tunic is the scrap thing. That's what it is. Uh, so the Drifter set lets you run around more without fucking up your stamina which is not too bad. Another thing we can do, because I don't even have any necklace items yet, so this is probably gonna be, well, it's not probably, it's definitely gonna be an upgrade no matter what it is. It's going to improve our situation. I don't wanna reroll campaign. I want to travel to Mudtooth's hideout. And what we're gonna do here is just talk to the old man in the heli heli helicopter, or whatever he called it, catopter. And, the reason we are talking to him is if you exhaust all of his dialogue, which I've already listened to in co-op, it's funny dialogue, but we'd be here for, I'm not kidding, like 20 minutes, so that would be the only part of the video. See, this is the weird balance of making content on YouTube. You gotta keep the action moving enough to keep everyone interested, right? So, if you're playing two, along, two. and you come across this guy... That's just, that's just science. That's just science. They should have known that. <laughs> I'd write a better book. He'd write a better book. Pull up a pot, friend, little... If you just give a talk to him, ask him what kind of stories he's got, some... he will give you a necklace that... Farewell, friend. Well, I'll <laughs> show, you, show you in a second, I guess. Back again, eh? What don't I got's a better question. Ah, uh, let's see. What would a youngin like you want to hear? I tell you how I got my name yet? Yeah? No? Maybe another time. About this, uh, uh, helio -colopter, though. I saw this old bird in flight, believe it or not! I was four. Damn thing just returned from a trip to the moon! Deadwood took her down, of course. Snipers on the rooftops. Don't know what they hit, but she came down like a damn meteor. That's a big rock that falls from the sky, if you didn't know. Saw the whole thing I did. Never thought I'd be living in her after, though. <laughs> I can tell you more if you're up for it. It's been a long time since anyone stuck around to talk there to me. There we go. So I, uh, I got something I'd like for you to have. This was my wife's. I'd planned on giving it to my boy, but well... <laughs> maybe it's time to give up on him coming around, huh? Ain't no time left in this world to wait on true family. I reckon you're close enough. Take care of it. It's kind of sweet, actually. I will, thank you. Sure, sure. Now, anything else I can do for you? Through well, Mudtooth. Take care, youngin. Don't be a stranger. I probably won't come back, but but I appreciate you. So the item he gave us is the pocket watch, which increases stamina regen and reduces stamina cost by 15%. Goes in line with the drifter set that I was just talking about. It's like I had a plan for this video all along. Well, we're about to do a lot of running, so what we could do is swap this gear out here. I don't really plan on getting in combat. So this will just make our lives a little bit easier. And we've been, wow, that's actually really good. We've been leveling up our stamina throughout the course of this series so far. So, uh, we, we can run for a long time. We can run for quite a ways. Now we're gonna travel back to the Ward 13 and show you where that key card goes that we got at the very beginning of the series at the Founder's Office. So from the teleport, we're just going to head this way. Me and Maka found this originally, and I was just talking about one of the perks you get from this a couple episodes ago. And I couldn't remember where we got it from. This is the power plant reactor that we turned on. We're just going to go even lower than that, excuse me. And we are looking for some specific items. 
The key card should open this up. And then if we hop over here, there's a talent point we can grab. We're not gonna use it just yet though. We're gonna hold on to that because inside of this room, it's one of these rooms. There's a tape recorder. I think it's this room. Yeah, if we listen to this, we get the elder knowledge. Elder knowledge increases experience points gained throughout the course of the entire game, which as I'm sure you can imagine, allows you to get a lot more points than you'd be able to get otherwise. If we come in here, there is a fuse and this fuse is used to unlock some other stuff a bit further down the path. But I have to loot first, okay? Take that chair. That's a metal chair, that doesn't break. There's a room here that has a totally locked door, like a submarine door. <laughs> but then you can just dive through the window and get an ammo box and some bandages. This area in particular, oh, I saw someone in the comments say that this game get, gave them some Hellgate London vibes. I was saying the exact same thing, the exact same thing to my friends, and then I had to explain what the fuck Hellgate London was. But this area in particular gives me so many Fallout vibes, dude. You got all of these computers that you could check in and read more about the about what happened. Uh, there, there's just fucking dead bodies everywhere that are completely decomposed, no skin on them at all. They turned the air conditioning off in here and this shit happened. That's crazy. Bunch of really cool stuff like that. I, I really like it. At the end of this hall, there's a locked door. How do we get through this locked door? Well, clearly you just stick the food. Oh, the charnished ring was a key. <gasps> That's where that went. So that door's locked. We need to figure out how, how to open it, but we need the fuse first. Back to the staircase. We're gonna head down one more level. This is the main staircase that we were taking down already. We're going down to level B3. You know, when I was a kid and I was playing bingo, I thought when B4 came up, you just picked the the, th the, the one before the last. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into that. Let's put this fuse into this. Go ahead and turn the power on. That'll allow us to open up the door here that was electronic. It was sealed because we couldn't use the fucking key card, okay? Now we can use the key card and go on through. There's not much to do in the middle of the room here. There's not too much going on. In fact, it's, you know, kind of a dead end. If you take a look at the mini map, there's a few more paths that we can take. This is the thermal control here. I don't recall if there's actually anything up there. It looks like there's one item. More importantly, God, we can just run for days, dude. That's so good. More importantly, there's a gigantic motherfucking fan over here that we're gonna need to turn off to find something else that's special. I'm just taking a look, see if there's see if there's anything else. Looks like there's a computer over here that needs a key card. I can't jump through that, that window though. I don't recall this part. I don't know if I went back here. There's lots of little items. I wish I did this at the beginning of the game. Not only would it, I have gotten more value out of those XP gains, right? Because if you get it early, it's more meaningful. This is what I was looking for. Another Tome of Knowledge. We could put that right into Elder Knowledge as well. Um, but if I had picked this up right at the start, we'd be at a higher level than we are right now. But technically we would have less combat effectiveness probably because we wouldn't have spent traits and things that make us better at shooting things. Anyway, if we come back to the, this thing and turn it off, that's going to cut the electricity again. So this panel's turned off. But more importantly, this fan has stopped moving and we can walk right on in here and grab the Ward 13 Master Key. Do you have any guesses as to what that Master Key may open? I have one. Before we head back up though, I want to see what's on this computer because it looks like you needed the key card to access it. Oh no, you need something completely different to access it. 
I assume the master key doesn't work. All right. Later. Back to the room at the end of the hall. <sighs> now that we have the Ward 13 master key, we should be able to just pop that bad boy in here and run right on through. And inside, we find the submachine gun. I really like the submachine gun. We can also read some research here if you're so inclined. Uh, the submachine gun is what I've been using on my other character. I have an idea for another sidearm I would like to use, but it's super good. And if we ever just need to spray and pray, we now have the Tommy gun into the submachine gun. Not bad, boys, not bad. If you're just trying to hit some bullets down range, this might be the most effective way of doing that. Yeah, we shoot that wall. You may have noticed that we had a strange coin that we acquired out in the wastelands of Earth. This coin belongs to a certain someone in Ward 13. How's it going? Is this your lucky coin? Oh, you found it. Wait, out in the city? Less. he could still be. <laughs> How about that? Here's the coin, it belongs to you. This, it means a lot, friend. Oh, let me give in kind. Take my pistol. It's uh, got a few lucky shots still in there. Let me give in kind, take my pistol. Thank no, you. thank you. Hey, I won't forget this. I probably will. What do you trade exactly, lady? Oh, just iron? I will take some. Thank you. Till next time. This is the Magnum Revolver. And this is what I wanted to use. I think it's basically like our hunting rifle, right? Slow shots, but man, it packs a punch. At least I wanted to use it for a little bit. I think there might be another revolver we can pick up. I'm not 100% on that. While we're back in town, we also need to pay a visit to the Root Mother to upgrade one of our, or to, to upgrade our Dragonheart things. Have you anything of the Root for me? Uh, I'd like to see what I could upgrade. This may help you on your journey. Thank you, Firekeeper. I will take that. Appreciate it. We need another simulacrium and a luminite crystal. Two more of those to upgrade this bad boy. Uh, take care. Yeah. Okay, you take care too. What a nice lady. Speaking of the root mother, there's one more item we can pick up over where we met her at the chapel. Let's head over there. So this one I did not know about. This one I learned from YouTube comments. You can't say I don't read the YouTube comments now. I have proof. Apparently, if we go to the left over here somewhere, there's a really nice item we can pick up. I didn't even know it was possible to go over to the left. Oh, dude. Can we learn anything from reading? I mean, I'm not gonna read it, but could we learn anything? Looks like there's some secret shit this way. And also a path out to a bigger courtyard this way. This is where a lot of those enemies were coming from. I wonder if we could have just run over here and started beating them up during that uh, survival gauntlet that we found ourselves in. I'm not too sure. All right, heading down. What do we... Oh, there it is! Boys! The sniper rifle. Perfect for our play style that we've been trying to do so far. At least I assume it is. I've never actually used this weapon. How does the sniper rifle have less accuracy than the hunting rifle? What the fuck? Maximum ammo 25, so we're gonna be losing out on half of our ammo. It has a higher crit chance and a longer range. Let's swap out this mod because let's just be honest I'm assuming I'm gonna love it it takes a sec ooh actually it takes a second to center it in 
Maybe I won't like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to loot the rest of this stuff and then we'll go shoot something. So if you're moving at all with this thing, it does not zoom in. I might be eating my words. We might like the hunting rifle more. I cannot believe I'm saying that. Oh, that packs a punch though. We have to reload after every shot. That was a 251 to the chest. I didn't even hit that guy in the head. It doesn't, uh... How is the sniper rifle less accurate than the hunting rifle? I don't get it. <laughs> how? So we, sh we should do a comparison, right? So this is the hunting rifle. Even while I'm moving around, it's good to go. And I know a hunting rifle is a little bit more mobile, right? But... Like, I mean, even at long range, it gets the job done. Granted, that was... That, that, that was way more than enough to kill off these guys. I suppose that's worth pointing out, too. Like, the sniper rifle's doing way overkill damage. That was just a casual... Whoa. God, it feels like a fucking shot. Is this an elephant? Is this an elephant rifle? What do you call those? It feels ridiculous. Which I was not anticipating. Anyway, we're just going to the checkpoint right over here. Make our way through the zone. We have a minigun guy. Dude, it did like half of his health in one shot. That one didn't crit. Let's back up, back up. Oh, God, if you miss with this, you get punished so hard. And I cannot see myself surviving. God, I'm barely surviving this. I cannot see myself surviving a big push of enemies. Like, if those fucking gerbils start running at me, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, God. He ate that shot. Where's your weak point, big guy? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna put the sniper rifle away. I cannot believe I'm saying that. I, I really... It did not meet the expectation that I had. It might be very good on bosses, though. Who knows? It might be great. We could always compensate our build with the submachine gun right now, actually. And I think that would go really well. I've been working my way to the east of that checkpoint. There's a very obvious door at the end. So we're, we're just kind of going to that. I've been trying to loot. I've been trying to find cool stuff. But uh, so far, there hasn't been too much to find. I mean, a little bit of iron here, a little bit of iron there, some scrap. That's been about it. Got a tome of knowledge. I'll take more XP, thank you. Yeah, this area in particular is just feeling really empty. I doubled back to this part thinking maybe I could get up there and there might be something. I say this part. I guess it's actually kind of hard to show you where. That's the door you were looking at a second ago. Um, but there's nothing. And then I was like, well, maybe I could do something over here. And there's an invisible wall. So, you know. This sucks. <laughs> I kind of hate invisible walls. Well, here we go. Where we end up, only the game knows. Press space to dodge incoming attacks, boys. If you got this far in the game without dodging, you are a prodigy. Uh-oh. Would, uh... Uh-oh. Now entering the choking hollow. <laughs> well, I know what this is. There is another boss you can encounter here, apparently. Mucka saw it. I have yet to see it, and I'm not going to spoil what that is. 
Um, we're gonna go with the SMG as well, I think. Actually, my pistol should be fine. I like the pistol a lot. Now that we're here, I'm gonna go upgrade really fast and then we'll give this a go. I'm a little nervous to say the least. All right, the sniper rifle is at plus five, which is as high as I can get it until we find the next material. I also upgraded the Tommy gun, thought we might need that. Our armor, aside from my chest piece, is all at plus five with the chest piece being at plus four. We're running with the Rattleweed and the Hunter's Mark. Uh, our rings aren't, I mean, our rings might be okay. I'm a little worried about this one, boys. He's a big man. And by man, I mean gig fucking gigantic tree. It's a fucking Cthulhu tree! And I didn't dodge that first attack. I thought I had my hunting rifle out. I wish I did. Okay, so we're gonna need to build up some charge in between stomps. We're gonna have to roll over those and try to deal as much damage as we can. We also have a slight problem where he spawns banelings constantly. Luckily, he will hurt them as well. Okay, all right. So we have to wait for a good opening with our sniper rifle. He has a weak spot on his back and I'm gonna try to exploit that weakness to the best of my ability, which is not very good. Not very good. You gearing up to slam? Here we go, here we go, here we go. 600 damage to the back. That's actually not bad at all. I shouldn't waste my shots like this. Hold on, we do 340 to the... That was a crit, that was a crit, that was a crit. Roll up. Way too slow. What the fuck, pally? Get your fucking shit together. Ugh. Hit it. Good shot. Trying not to kill those guys right away because I didn't want them to blow up on me. Gonna reload the... Oh, this is the hard part. Ugh. Run, run, run. He's shooting projectiles out of his, out of his fucking head at me. Oh, that's, that's the ticket. So this fight is a mixture of trying to avoid ads, a mixture of trying to deal damage when the boss is weak, and trying to survive an onslaught of projectiles flying out of his head. It's a delicate balance, no matter how you look at it. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. We could try to lower our stamina consumption for this fight, and I don't think that would be too bad. Here they come. But here we go. I don't think I should take that hit for that, but I'm okay taking the hit for that, you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. I wonder if I'd be better off with the Tommy gun again. Oh, that was, that was bad. That was a bad start. Bad start, bad start. To the pistol. We gotta charge that up. Get ready for the shot. Miss, fuck. That little bit of wiggle room fucked me there. All right, we need to charge up the mod. Good roll, good roll, good roll. There we go! Reload, reload, take our time. We're not in a rush. Now we need to rush. Uh. Now the problem with being infected on this fight is that your character will stop and cough like this and then you just get pelted with more shit. So we're gonna drink our tonic and try to cure that as fast as possible. Heal up one more time, we have two more heals. He's going down for a slam, we roll. 
Damn, I should have shot. I should have saved that shot. Our taunt mod is almost charged, and that's going to be very important soon. Getting ammo is also going to be very important soon because we're almost out on the pistol. Does that mean we got ads? We do. Firing it up. That's going to taunt everything in the area, or at least it should. Then we can blow up the other ads. Oh, time to move! Three, four, five. We're just gonna get ammo. Six, that's the last one. Didn't hit the weak spot, that's okay. We need to charge that taunt up again as soon as possible. Oh, we do not have a taunt for this ad face. We do. Have a hunter's mark ready to go in a second 130 damage with the pistol is not bad i'm gonna drink a heal over time this is the bombardment phase we're just gonna run one of the banelings blew up on me hunter's mark let's go they'll increase our damage just a little bit we have ads again. I almost have the taunt. Taunt's out. Reload the hunting rifle, because I think he's going to slam suit. Six hundred damage there, but was it worth it? Five. Heal, 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 heal. Oh, that was so close. We're infected again, I gotta cure that. Shit, we took a hit there too. Oh, 1,000! One more shot will do it. He's trying to spawn in ads. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh man, dude. That is so hard solo. <laughs> that is so hard. Quick hands, wonderful talent for us. Weapon reload speed increased. We could use that for sure. We room. could use that for sure. But with that, the treant has been killed. And we can make our way through the door. I don't think there's any secrets here that I... I mean that I don't. I'm, I don't know about them. Looks like everything's fine. Looks like we're good. Pretty narrow path. I feel okay about it. But what's on the other side? You may find yourself wondering. What well, wouldn't you like to know? It's just more city. It's just, it's just for city. Next episode, we'll be finishing off this act. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time as we travel to someplace very strange. Okay, bye.